Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and welcome to A Healthcare Z. Today we are going to be talking about payment at the time of service. And so here we are in the admitting department of a hospital. And when you come to the hospital, typically there's a lot of pieces of paper that you sign. And one of those pieces of paper is one, to say that it's okay for them to treat you because they are going to be like potentially sticking you with needles and using knives on you. So you've got to say, hey, that's okay. And then two, to say that you, the patient, are ultimately responsible for payment. So they'll bill the insurance, but at the end of the day, you, the patient, are responsible. And they make you sign a piece of paper. Um, and that's, that's just standard practice. That's for everybody to know. Okay, so two. So as far as payment goes, your insurance company has something called an accumulator and that keeps track of how much you have paid against your deductible and your coinsurance. Now, let's use a specific example. Let's say you're coming in here for a service that's going to be approximately $4,000. So they bill for $4,000. You have a 50% discount off of your service, which takes it down to $2,000. Now, you have a $1,000 deductible, and then you have 20% coinsurance after that, up to an out-of-pocket max of, let's say, $4,000. So let's do the math on that. So you owe the first $1,000, then you owe 20% on the next $1,000, so you will owe a total of $1,200 if you have nothing already on the accumulator. In other words, you haven't met any of your deductible or coinsurance yet. So the hospital actually will, quote-unquote, ping your accumulator and that accumulator um, may or may not be right. And the reason it may or may not be right is because, let's say you've had other services and those bills haven't necessarily been submitted from the other doctors or hospitals that you might, or labs that you might have seen. Okay, so just because they ping the accumulator, that doesn't mean it's right. And they'll either do it by phone or they'll do it over the internet. Now, the other problem too is, is that once they ping the accumulator, they then have to correctly translate that against your benefits, which also does not happen correctly all the time. So, now, don't get me wrong, sometimes they do get it right, but it should be assumed that it is going to be incorrect until proven otherwise. And they're going to ask oftentimes for payment up front, either in the form of a copay or they're going to ask for an estimation of that payment up front. And it typically is the policy that if you don't pay that, then you're not going to get service. And so just be prepared for that to either use a check or a credit card to have to be able to do that. And it might be a significant amount of money. It might be like $1,200. Now, what can you do? if it's not an emergency, would be to call patient financial services at the hospital in advance and get the estimate in advance. See if that is actually correct against your accumulator by contacting your insurance company and then arrangement for payment in advance. What's that called? A lot of work. So just assume that if you are not going to do all that legwork beforehand, that there's a good chance that it will not be done correctly at the time of service. You'll need to pay it anyway, and then you'll need to clean it up after the fact. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.